I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Friday morning, the 23rd of December, the year 2022, and this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. If we start off in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, and verse 7, And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And then we go straight to the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, and verse 2. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by doing so, some have unwittingly entertained angels. Can you imagine the innkeeper's face when he got to heaven and realized that he had put the Son of God in his garage for the night? <laughs> <laughs> he put him in his stable with his donkeys, his milk cow and the chickens. The king of kings of all kings was given a feed trough for his first night on earth. That was his cot. That was his sleeping place. And you know something it makes me want to cry. He was grateful and he never murmured a word of discontent. Many, many years ago, when we had first arrived on the farm Shalom, and we had built our little wattle and daub house, a friend of ours, who was a evangelist, an Indian by the name of Sona, he brought a man to our home. He said, this man, I picked him up hitchhiking. Could you give him a place to stay? I said, of course. As new Christians, we were so honored to put up this man. He was a school teacher, and he was hitchhiking. We put him up in our little home. But what a blessing this man was to us. He taught our two little boys how to fish. He caught a huge bass fish. Then he prepared it and cooked it on an open fire with lemon and salt. What a delicious meal. He sat in the evenings and he taught us Christian songs with his guitar. And then he told us stories of faith that took our breath away. He told us how he took his class one year and said to them, I'm going to show you how the Lord undertakes if you trust him by faith. He took his whole class of children right around South Africa without taking one rand in his pocket. No money by faith. I've never forgotten him. He was such a blessing to us. He also spoke over us and he told us what God was going to do at this place. We, of course, could hardly believe it. And you know, every single word that he told us has come to pass. We want to thank the Lord for Pete Ace. I don't know where you are, Pete. The last time I heard you were a missionary in Malawi. Jesus bless you. Folks, today be careful when you turn somebody away. You might be turning away an angel. Have a heart of compassion and love this Christmas season. Jesus bless you and goodbye.